of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help, when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory, now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge God's presence as we as acknowledge also our sins. And humbling ourselves before the Lord, we ask for his pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light and hope to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth. May you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Papos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand and said, Fellow children of Israel and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out, and for about 40 years, he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 450 years. After these things, he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil, I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. Amen. 
Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, no, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen. But so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. There was an author Barry McLaughlin, who wrote a book entitled Nature, Grace, and Development. And he wrote in that book, parental discipline must be supplemented by parental example. Let me repeat. Parental discipline must be supplemented by parental example. He continued, if the discipline is to be at all effective, it must be reinforced by behavior. Some years ago, there was a commercial on TV some saying something like this, Sa mata ng isang bata, ang mali ay nagiging tama kapag ginagawa ng mga nakatatanda. You remember that commercial? Sa mata ng isang bata, ang mali ay nagiging tama kapag ginagawa ng isang nakatatanda. Our gospel for today is an excerpt from the discourse of Jesus at the Last Supper. The beginning of our gospel today was after Jesus washed the feet of the disciples. And he said to them, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master. What I did, you must also do. So the Lord did not say, do this, do that. Wash each other's feet. Hugasan ninyo ang paan ng isa't isa. He did not say that. He did that. Ipinakita niya sa pamamagitan ng kanyang halimbawa kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng maglingkod. Ipinakita niya sa pamamagitan ng kanyang ginawa kung anong ibig sabihin ng maging alagad. Kaya nga ang sabi niya, no? No slave is greater than his master. If the master 
serves, the slave must also serve. If Jesus washed the feet of the disciples, the disciples must also wash each other's feet. Ganun po. Ganun po ang ibig sabihin ng pagsunod kay Jesus. Ang maging lingkod ng, isang isa, ng isa't isa kung paanong tayo ay pinaglingkuran ni Jesus. Kaya nga po sa parokya o sa simbahan, no, sino ang pinakadakila? Sino ang maituturing na pinakadakila sa mata ng Diyos? Not necessarily the pastor, not necessarily the rector. Ang pinakadakila ay yung lingkod ng lahat. Yung nagsisirbisyo kahit walang nakakikita. Yung gumagawa ng tama, ng maayos, kahit walang nag-o-observe. Yung lingkod ng lahat. He or she may not be the parish priest. But in the eyes of God, the one who is greatest is the one who serves. At yan, batay sa halimbawa ni Jesus. Because Jesus came to serve, not to be served. Let us pray for one another that when we aspire for greatness, we aspire for service. Kasi minsan, no, nag-uunahan tayo eh. No? Nag-uunahan. Gusto lahat maging sikat. Gusto lahat mapalapit sa pare, sa rektor. No? Kung mag-uunahan man tayo, mag-unahan tayo sa paglilingkod sa isa't isa. Jesus did that by His example. And as disciples, we have to do the same. Amen. Please stand. Gathered together as a people in need, we pray to God the Father with humble hearts, trusting in His great mercy. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our church may become a true community, producing fruits of love and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That unbelievers may encounter God in the love of the Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That married couples may be faithful in their love for each other and so bear witness to their Christian faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and remain united with Jesus even in suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for our own intentions. Almighty Father, you call us to be with you. May we be faithful in following your Son on the way to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your pra praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray like Jesus. Let us serve like Jesus. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving Lord, food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh,